you guys wanted to bring another uh, YouTube video on Kamala Harris, um, especially with Milton about to hit Florida and try and fact check her because nobody really does, um, except a few. So just want to start playing this first. Miss and disinformation being pushed out there by the former president about what is available in particular to the survivors of Helene. And first of all, it's extraordinarily irresponsible. It's about him. It's not about you. And the so that's not true because right here. Um, so what she's talking about and referring to is where Trump and the video I put out where FEMA is running out of money um, and party if some employees of the Democrat Party saying that they are running out of money. So right here, you can see, you could go straight to FEMA's website. Uh, you could type out, what did I have to type out? I actually had to type out CBP. Um, that is what it stands for. Let me show you it is see the customs and border protection uh and this was april 12 2024 so it reads today the department of homeland security through fema and the u.s customs and border protection announced 300 million in grants through the shelter and service program so that video that i showed with fox news kind of calling them out th about FEMA running out of money, that is part of the reason right here, which authorized by go uh, Congress to support communities that are providing services to migrants. So right there, it says $300 million of grant went to migrants. $275 million will be distributed in the first allocation and the remaining $25 million will be allocated later in the year. Uh, to accommodate evolving operational requirements. So, right there, 300 million, where she's calling out that there's misinformation. It's straight out of the mouth, it's plain in writing from FEMA's website, right there, of what they're using that money for. So, don't say it's misinformation when you don't have it right. And <laughs> she makes another blunder. The reality is that FEMA has so many resources that are available to folks who desperately need them now and resources that are about helping people get back on their feet and rebuild and have places to go. You are entitled to these resources. People are entitled to these resources and it is critically important. So uh, again, there's a lot of different reports. Um, with North Carolina being slow to get resources out there. FEMA, it's slow on different places. And if Milton does the amount of damage that they're projecting, $119 billion, I don't see they're going to have enough. And they're going to pretty much be like, well, yeah, we told you we don't have enough money. Um, again, this is where America should be first being taken care of. Maui was another issue. These natural disasters cost money to help rebuild and help Americans. Lebanon got more money this week um, recently. And then Ukraine gets more money. Like we should be taking care of our people first instead of um, other countries unless we have the resources and money fine. But again, it goes back to budgeting. That people apply for the help that is there to support. That all of those resources were created for just these kinds of moments in an emergency situation, knowing that folks are entitled to Yeah, that we are entitled because we pay taxes for this. We pay federal taxes for resources that our American citizens should have. But it is very slow and painful and right now people in florida still hasn't recovered from helene and they're about to get hit with milton so there's going to be even more costs have the relief that they so rightly need at this moment in time so listen to your sheriff around the places that have been impacted by helene listen to your local sheriff who's going to tell you straight about what's available to you and how for so many reasons and ways there are no conditions attached to the relief that's available to you. Governor DeSantis and 
you see us reporting Governor DeSantis is ignoring your calls on hurricanes, resources, and, and help. How does that hurt the situation here? You know, moments of crisis, if, if nothing else, should really be the moment that anyone who calls themselves a leader says they're going to put politics aside and put the people first. People are in desperate need of support right now. And playing for All right, so... I don't know if she's not talking to Biden or something, but here's a video of what Biden said. Florida has been cooperative. He said he's gotten all that he needs. I talked to him again yesterday, and I and I said, whatever. I said, no, you're doing a great job. It's being all being done well. We thank you for it. And I literally gave my personal phone number to call. Um, so I don't know. There was a rough start in some places, but. All right, so right there, Biden pretty much throws her under the bus, saying they've been in contact. Um, and Ron DeSantis even confirmed that. So obviously he doesn't have time to play games. It's not politicized. She's the one that's running a campaign and trying to win an election. She's not taking care of the people. She's not taking care of what is needed to be done. Like she could have taken care of the border and all this. Now we know that that three hundred million dollars is going to, um, to the migrants right there from FEMA. This is why we might not have enough money for hurricane season. And even Biden says he's been in contact with Ron DeSantis. So I don't know if she's just trying to politicize, saying that he's not working right here. Also for them to vote for it again who is the president of the senate well right here she breaks the tie break her who is the center of majority leader chuck schumer who is another democrat so nancy well, this is all democrats and this is what they approve and this is the money that they approve this is what they budgeted and this is probably again why they're trying to buy maybe potentially or allegedly um the Haitians or different people coming from the border so they could get their vote because they could have that long, they're playing more of the long-term game and not worrying about their people. And if, if you're going to keep voting this way, yeah, they're going to pull stuff like this. The reason why the Donald Trump and Republicans shot down that border was because they added more uh, funds for Ukraine and different, Really, a bill should be based on one thing and not add more things. If you're going to negotiate and add that stuff, you should add that and agree to put that on a separate bill. Make it straightforward and easy for everybody and not uh, play games that way. And now, again, th this could be pretty bad because, again, since I'm familiar with homeowners insurance and working with um contents and vehicles cars there there are some loopholes and stuff like that where a lot of insurance people um moved out of florida and california because they're high risk for situations like this and you have to have a separate insurance for flood insurance and if, uh, a lot of uh, florida uh, residents don't have that and that's where they're going to probably be in trouble for that reason. Um, so we're going to see um, how bad this could be. It's supposed to hit landfall um, later this evening. So stay safe. Hopefully everybody's going to be uh, hunkered down or evacuated already if you need to. And uh, hopefully we get through this. And together we could build better tomorrow and hit this like button so more people could see this for what it is um again Kamala Harris is trying to politicize even a hurricane at this point she is very desperate because there's only four weeks especially trying to do all these media things and it's not helping her at this point go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to her channel if you haven't done so thanks